Hello students, this is Meer Mursleen, your basketball coach. Today, I'm just going to share some basic basketball drills with you so that you can perform these drills simply at home. Students, for these drills, simply you need a cemented hard, hard surface where you can dribble the ball easily. So students, let me brief something about basketball, how basketball game has been invented. It has been invented in 1891 in America by Dr. James and I Smith. So students, if we talk about our country, India, this game came in starting 90s, but BFI, Basketball Federation of India, was invented in 1950. Till now, this game is going on in India. So students, if we talk about basic fundamentals of basketball, the first one is stance, the second one is dribbling, third one is passing, fourth one is shooting, fifth one is individual defense, sixth one is rebounding, and the seventh one is footwork. So students, now I'm just going to show you the basic stance of basketball. How we have to make stance. Students, this is especially to the beginners who are interested in learning basketball. So how we have to make this stance, or we can just say also start of dribble. So students, first of all, you have to keep your feet as per your shoulder so that you can comfortably stand. After that, you have to bend your knees okay keep the ball near your chest down to the chin and simply students what you have to do grab the ball properly okay after that you have to keep your elbows a little bit not that much wide not that much closer you have to keep your elbows normally wide okay like this you can just see your upper body should be in crouch position not in standing position a little bit crouch okay like this after that, we'll just do, start with a jab step. We'll just try to lift our left foot like this. We'll just give this first fake, okay, like this. Then after that, we'll just move this ball towards our right pocket and I'll just lift my left toe across. And then I'll just boom and I will start my dribble. I'll just show you this one more time how we have to start simply stand keep your feet as per your shoulders okay after that keep your ball near your chest like this not in front like this uh, far away near your chest okay keep your uh, elbows normal not wider not closer like this like this properly and stand strong and after that, we'll just try to lift our left feet. We'll just do jab step like this. One small step, one small step and keep the ball safe. Always we have to keep our ball safe. Then we'll just lift the same feet across like this. And our ball will come near our pocket and our hand will change. The position of the hands will change. Our right hand will come upon the ball and the left hand will come for the support on the side okay then simply boom we'll just go and we'll start the dribble okay but students when you are going to take this first step after jab step when you are going across keep your upper body keep your bent as low as you can so that you can beat your defense player on the first dribble so students this was all about the stance i hope you will learn something from this basic stance of basketball how we have to make this stance especially to the beginners so i'm just going to start my first drill first we are just going to start with some coordination drills let's start with our first drill so students for this drill all you need is a small space cemented hard surface Basically, if you have to dribble, for dribbling, you just need a hard surface so that you can dribble the ball easily so that it can rebound back. So students, also you have to take care, you should have a proper basketball. Beginners who are less than 14 years old, 
they have to play with the six number size ball and the students who are in the seventh or eighth class students more than 14 years they have to play with the seven number ball size for girls they have to play all with the six number size if they have to start from the beginning till senior age category they have to always use six number ball size so students first of all i'm just going to show you ball tapping in ball tapping what you have to do simply you have to use your fingertips and you have to tap the ball from the waist till head and come back you will repeat this drill at least 8 to 10 times so that your coordination with the ball gets improved okay but if you are a beginner your ball will get fumbled but don't get panic do it easily okay simply stand properly stand easily stand you have to keep your feet as per your shoulders so that you can stand comfortably after that what you have to do just keep your ball in front and use your fingertips you have to take the ball from your waist up to your at least till your head okay simply with your fingertips like this so students you have to perform this uh, this drill at least ball tapping 8 to 10 times after this we'll just uh, move to our next drill that will be ball squeezing what we have to do in the ball squeezing simply you have to stand on your place and we'll just first start with the right hand all these drills will just perform all these drills with the both hands so that in today's time you have to improve your both the hands equally if for example i am a right handy and my strong hand is right hand but i have to also improve i have to also uh, make my left hand strong so that my skills will be equal from right hand also and also from my left hand so students what we have to do in ball squeezing simply you have to keep your hand like this and try to squeeze the ball with your fingers okay like this okay simply just keep your ball like this in front and try to squeeze it squeeze the ball then we'll just move with the left hand students this was ball squeezing so students our next drill is ball tapping in ball tapping what we have to do we have to simply tap the ball with the both hands but one by one like this try to tap the ball a little bit harder so that when you are doing passing drill or you are receiving a pass in the match you should try to feel that how hard or how strong a pass you can receive that's why we just perform this drill try to do same at least 10 times with the right hand 10 times with the left hand so students now we are just moving to our next drills in these drills we have to do rotation of ball we can just say it's a series of rotation drills so how we have to start this so we have to start with rotate the ball around head so simply just keep your feet as per your shoulders so that you can comfortably stand after that keep your ball near your ear and after that start rotating it clockwise shift the ball to your next hand receive only with your fingers your palm should not touch the ball first 6 to 8 times clock and then anti clockwise same 8 to 10 times we can just say clock and then same times you have to repeat with the anti clock now our next drill is rotate the ball around your waist same stand properly keep your feet as per your shoulders and rotate your ball around your waist same 
your palm should not touch the ball use your fingertips only first clock and then end the clock so students now we are just going to perform next drill that will be rotate the ball around your knees but in this drill what we have to do we have to bend down on our knees okay also we'll just also bend our upper body little bit okay then we'll just rotate the ball around our knees okay but this time we'll just try to close our feet okay but not all close little bit we'll just keep a little gap in between okay after that we'll just bend down okay but try to look up when you are performing these drills try to look up then anti clockwise same perform this drill with your fingertips only so students our next drill will be figure of 8 in figure of 8 how we have to perform this uh, figure of 8 drill students simply you have to keep your legs little bit wider and then you have to bend your knees also you have to bend your upper body okay then you have to simply make eight between your legs okay rotate the ball like this with your fingertips look up so students try to perform this drill at least 20 times so students now i'm just going to show you two dribbling drills first i will just show you low dribble so students now we are just going to do two dribbling drills first we'll just do low dribble okay in this just keep your feet little bit wider okay then bend down keep your knees bent upper body in crouch position and your dribble should be near your toe but on the side okay after that your ball should only raise up to your knee like this students try to perform this dribbling at least 20 to 30 times with your right hand same you have to do with your left hand so students this was low dribble now we are just going to do the high dribble but your dribble should not cross your shoulder then it will be illegal dribble okay simply what we have to do keep your feet as little bit wider and then my now let's like this then we'll just perform the same drill with the left hand so students these were the two dribbling drills you which you can perform simply on a particular spot low dribble and high dribble students this was all for today i hope you will learn something basic about basketball through this video we'll meet in the next video till then take care goodbye